kitty cats. We're cute. But I'm cuter. Me wow. The day of the black cat. One day, the kitty cats and their friends were getting ready to celebrate the day of the black cat. Well, here he is, our lucky black cat. Oh, get everything ready so we can start. Daddy hid the lucky black cat in a secret spot and left clues and hints around to help the kittens find him. <laughs> now, kittens, if you can find the black cat before 6 p.m., well, then you'll be able to grab good luck right by the tail as the legend goes. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Look! I don't think the black cat would fit inside that small box. Huh, it's my whistle. It's really pretty and shiny. Uh, I guess that it's some kind of clue, guys. Maybe we're supposed to blow it. Whoa! Oh. Oh. Hey, we need that whistle. It's a clue. <laughs> There's a clue in here! Raspberries. I think it means we should go to the raspberry bush in the park. Oh. <laughs> the quest Daddy had put together for the kittens was not an easy one. <laughs> but after a lot of hard work, they finally found the last clue. Hidden somewhere in our house. Come on, hurry! Guys, wait! Where is Smudge? Hey, Smudge! Hey, maybe we buried him at the sandbox accidentally. <laughs> the magpie could have swooped down and taken Smudge. <laughs> huh? oh! <laughs> Or maybe he just got lost somewhere. Meow! I have a really good idea. We should go on a hunt for Smudge. If we do that, we won't find the black cat in time. And we won't grab luck by its tail. Smudge is our friend. That's more important than grabbing good luck. Hey, Smudge! Smudgy! Hey, Smudge! Oh. Oh, these are Smudge's footprints. Huh? It's, it's Smudge. Smudge. Help me, guys. I can't get out of this gully. It's just too slippery. Ooh. Grab on. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Well, it looks like he didn't find the black cat in time. Well, Smudge fell in a ditch and got stuck. Oh, and we were saving him. And you did the right thing. <laughs> well, since Smudge here happens to be a black cat as well, and you found him before six, I believe you grabbed luck by the tail after all. And here is your prize. Yummy chocolate kittens with a fortune inside. So awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. <laughs> Will you eat my fortune for me, Mommy? <laughs> this year you are going to have a lot of fun. Lots of interesting stuff is waiting for you. You have good friends that will stay by your side. This would be a very good year for everyone, especially Smudge, because the best luck of all is having wonderful friends around you. The Kitty Train one day, Mommy and Daddy took the kitty cats and their friends to the park for a ride on the children's pretend steam train. I'm driving, called it! And Pudding can be the coal shoveler, and Candy can be the conductor, then everybody else can be passengers! Let's go!
Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. You kids have a great trip. We'll be here waiting for you. Uh, maybe we have time to get a nice box of popcorn. Shovel in more coal so we can go faster. At first, Pudding had fun shoveling toy coal into a toy furnace and making believe it was the real thing. May I have your ticket, please? <sighs> oh. Shoveling coal is making me tired. And I'm bored with just checking everyone's tickets. Okay, why don't you be the coal shoveler and you be the conductor? Uh, can I have a look at your tickets, I guess? What? Again? Cookie, I want to have a turn driving the train. Why? I can't hear you! Oh, yeah? Now, I'm the driver and you're the shoveler. Wait, I want to be the driver now. I've already been the conductor and the coal shoveler. Give that hat back right now! Pudding, give me that hat! I'm the driver! No, me! Give me the hat! Well, so whoever has the hat is the driver? <sighs> I dare you to try and take it. Hmm? <gasps> Who took my hat? Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, uh, oh! Fresh, yummy popcorn. Oh. oh, no. Now we don't have a driver at all. Speaking of the driver, guys, who's driving the train now? The train was approaching the station, but it was going too fast. Could we maybe ask Daddy to stop the train for us? <sighs> but it's going so fast that Daddy couldn't catch it. Getting there, getting there. I'm going to do it. Or I'm too slow. No! <laughs> what we need to do to stop the train is to use a parachute. We don't have a parachute, though. Any other ideas? It's too bad a train isn't like a bike, because on my bike, I just press the brakes and then it stops, you know? Yeah, the brake lever! Must have been going very quickly to have your driver's hat blown off by the wind. Pudding? Hey, here you go. It's your turn to be the driver now. Hey, what about us? I want to have a turn being driver. And me. I have a really good idea. We can all take turns being the driver, all right? So, so awesome. awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Choo choo choo! choo. Oh, it's great to drive the choo-choo Up the tracks along the way In our awesome, cool, true, blue Choo-choo train, what a perfect day Choo-choo-choo The train is really going Pumping smoke into the air When they hear the whistle blowing Then they'll know that we are there this time around, everyone had a turn driving the train, and Cookie had a great time just being a passenger and enjoying the wonderful view. The goldfish. The kitty cats have been asking their parents for a pet. You can open up your eyes now. Oh, wow! It's, it's a, a goldfish! She's easy to look after. Just feed her and make sure she has clean water. I think that you'll manage. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> <laughs> we need to make certain we take proper care of the fish. We need to feed her. Let's give her a lovely piece of bread. Nah, hmm? that's not really taking care of her. We need to feed her something that's really yummy. The kittens brought the goldfish a piece of Daddy's cake. Here, fishy. Hope you like it. No. Uh -huh. Wait. Uh -huh. You can't put whatever you want into the aquarium. 
This is her special food. Fish really don't eat much. She just needs a little pinch of fish food. <laughs> I could stand here and look at her for hours and hours and hours. It's nice out. How about taking a break from the fish and playing outside for a while? Can we take the fish out with us? Sure you can, but you need to be very careful with her. The kitty cats had called their friends over to their house to see their new pet. I think that it's beautiful. She's really, really good at swimming. <laughs> Do you think that I could feed her and take her for a walk? Me too, guys, me too. Hurrah! <laughs> Boris, you've had long enough. It's my turn. <laughs> oh, the fish is looking a bit sad. Maybe if I read her a book about sea creatures, she'll feel better. Here's an octopus, and this is a blue whale. All you'll do by reading that is make her feel homesick, Pudding. I'll make her feel better. <laughs> happy, happy, happy fish! Huh? Maybe she's hungry? Whoa, all gone. I know what's wrong. Remember, Mommy said the fish only eat a little bit. And we gave her an entire thing of food. Oh, that poor fishy. No wonder it's not happy. Imagine if someone threw that much food into your room, kittens. <laughs> oh, and this water needs changing. Water to a fish is the same thing as air is to us. Just imagine if all the air where you're living got filthy all of a sudden. <laughs> Ew, the air here smells just horrible. You're right. It really isn't fresh at all. I don't think the three of you are ready to take care of a pet yet. So I guess I'd better take the goldfish back to the store. No, Mommy, wait. Please give us another chance. I promise that we'll take care of the fish properly. We'll just give her a pinch of food, not too much. And change the water every day, promise. <laughs> well, now it seems your fish is feeling much better. And this rainbow arch is for her bowl to keep her nice and happy all the time. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! That's how the goldfish became part of the family, and how the kitty cats learned to take care of her properly. Wild adventure! One day, Grandpa took the kitty cats for a walk in the park. So today, kittens, I will be training you for an exciting wild adventure. Wild adventure? Really? I'm going to teach you to take care of yourselves in case you are ever stranded in the wild. We're going on a wild adventure! So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Imagine we're in a dark forest full of... Adventures! Look, you're surrounded by thick, dark underbrush, so you can't find the path. But look where this moss has grown. This side is always north. The moss-free side is always south. Always remember this, and you'll never lose your way. We can't get lost, Grandpa. Those signs tell us where we are. Oh, if you take a leaf, you can make it into a small cup and use it to gather water or collect food. Or you could just buy food and juice at the snack bar. Oh, we should definitely get some snacks. Oh, no, kittens. Right now it's training time. 
Come on, follow me. Grandpa showed the kittens how to find berries that are safe to eat. <laughs> and how to get rid of insects. Yeah. How to make a shelter to keep dry in the rain. <laughs> and this is a very useful knot. It won't let you down, see? Um, will the wild adventure get going anytime soon, Grandpa? We're ready for the adventure now. <laughs> you think you're that ready? <laughs> All right, then. See that? That island is where we're going. Over there. Hooray! The kittens took everything they needed for their adventure with them, which was cookies and juice. Yo, see the moss? That means our boat's tied up on the little island's north side. Let's go and do some exploring on the other side of the island. <laughs> <laughs> It's time to head back to the boat for something yummy. <gasps> Looks like the kittens didn't get Grandpa's special knot right when they tied up the boat. Oh, no. We'll be stranded on this island forever and ever. <laughs> There's no need to be afraid. Your mom and dad will come and get us before it gets dark. Oh, but it does look like it's about to rain. We need to make a shelter. I'm really hungry. And I'm really thirsty. All our supplies are in the boat, though. Remember, you can drink clean rainwater, kids. What? Just stand out there and open your mouth? We get soaked to the bone. Hey, I know what to do. The kitty cats remembered everything Grandpa had taught them. And when they reached the shore, a nice surprise was waiting for them. Mommy! Daddy! How did you find us? Well, your grandpa sent me a message saying that you needed to be picked up on the north side of the island. Oh, your lips are blue. You must be frozen. <laughs> no, Mom. We've just been eating berries. <laughs> <laughs> we had an amazing, properly wild adventure. And Grandpa taught us everything we needed. We didn't need juice and cookies after all. This day was so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The kitty cats had a great time training with Grandpa. Wild adventures are loads of fun when you know how to take care of yourself. <laughs> Walkie talkies. One day, Mommy and Daddy gave the kittens an unusual gift. Dear kittens, these wonderful gadgets are called walkie talkies. Over. Hear you loud and clear. With them, you three can talk to each other from a distance. <laughs> so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> Attention, this is Candy, and I'm laying on my bed. Over. Attention, this is Pudding. I'm just here in the kitchen eating an apple. Over. This is Cookie. I'm looking out the window. Let's play outside. Over. I'm coming. Me too. This is Cookie, and I'm outside. Over. Um, yeah, we can see you. We can hear you too, Cookie. I guess we really only need these walkie-talkies when we're way far away from each other. This is Candy here, and I'm in Africa. Over. This is Pudding here, and I'm up in the Arctic Circle. Over. <laughs> hey, can anybody down there hear me? Over. Walkie-talkies don't work when you're in orbit. Did that lawnmower just pass by on its own? Never mind that. Let's figure out cool stuff to do with our walkie-talkies. Well, we could give one to Mommy so she's always able to get in touch with us. But that's why we have a telephone. And plus, everyone would hear whatever Mommy was saying. Careful on the fly, Cookie Kins, or you'll tear the backside of your pants like you did last time. Oh, shush, Mom. The, the backside, backside of your, of your pants? pants? <laughs> <laughs> uh, why does that 
lawnmower keep running around everywhere by itself? I don't know. Just like I don't know what to use these walkie-talkies for, it sort of seems like they're not really that useful. Attention, huh? this huh? is the police inspector speaking. Oh. The city gardener's lawnmower has gone missing. Please report it if you spot it. Over. Me, wow. It sounds like Cookie managed to find the police walkie-talkie huh? station. That's given me a really good idea. Kitty Cat Search Squad here, reporting a break in the case. We've seen the lawnmower. It's running on its own. Over. Cookie? Candy? Pudding? Yes, it's us. Then, by all means, continue the search. Report back with any new information. Over. Great. Copy, Copy that. that. Oh, wow. We'll be looking for the lawnmower just like real life police officers. I found some lawnmower tracks here. They lead right inside this bush. Over. Oh. I found some lawnmower tracks around the big old oak tree. Over. And I see lawnmower tracks pretty much everywhere. I'm barely sure I can hear the lawnmower. It's somewhere over there. Yeah, I see it. It's headed away from us towards home, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Police, come in! The Kitty Cat Search Squad have found the lawnmower in our old backyard! Roger that. I'm on my way. Uh, oh, yeah! My beautiful lawnmower! Oh, Daddy missed you so much! Come on, stop! Please? Stop, lawnmower! Woo! <laughs> I can't thank oh. you enough for finding it. I don't know what I'd do without it. It's the Kitty Cat Search Squad that you should thank. Oh, cookie, candy, and pudding. Thanks, friends. Our pleasure. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. Oh, what a remarkable job you've done trimming our lawn. <laughs> Come inside, everyone, and enjoy some freshly baked muffins. Mommy here. Tea and muffins are on their way. Do you copy? Over. Yeah, loud and clear. Now, if anyone needs to find something, the Kitty Cat Search Squad will always be ready to help. <laughs> Kindness makes the kitten. <laughs> Guard, defend yourself! One day, Cupcake decided that it was time to speak to Candy about her brother's bad manners. Candy, no offense, but Cookie and Pudding could use a little work on their manners. They never let anyone go ahead of them, they disturb everyone, and they never share any treats. Gosh, sounds like they've forgotten what her grandma always says. You must always keep in mind that a kitten should be kind. Don't worry, Cupcake, I'll remind them when we get home. <laughs> 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 Cookie, Pudding, I need to teach you both about good manners because it will make you into better cats and make everyone you know happy. Really? Sounds great. All right, I'm ready. Go for it. Me too. Well, then, let's start. Awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. If you let someone go ahead of you, it shows that you have good manners. Why would I let someone get in front of me? If I need to get somewhere myself, they can just go after me. And what if we need to, uh, say to parachute out of a plane, but all of us are scared? Who's jumping first? Uh, after you, I insist. What if we need to cross a log bridge over a ravine? Well, uh, you go first, I insist. <gasps> That's not how it works. good manners to offer to share what you have with others, like candy or a scooter. Wait, how come I'm the one who has to ask them? If they want what I've got, let them tell me, and then I'll share it. Because if you don't offer what you've got to them, they'll think that you don't want to share. Ah, that makes sense. Candy also explained that it's good manners to help someone climb down from a high step, or cover someone with a blanket in cold weather or with an umbrella in the rain. That's it. Manners are pretty simple, right? Super simple. Now can we go play for a while? Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> the next day, Candy invited Cupcake for a visit to show off the boys' good manners. Kittens, it's time for tea. <laughs> 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 This tea is so yummy. Oh, drinking from the teapot isn't nice. I don't want any tea now. I'm going outside. Cookie Pudding, you forgot your manners again. You both barged past Cupcake going out of the bedroom. Then you drank all the tea yourselves and ate all the treats without offering any to her. Hmm. Letting you pass, giving you this, helping you with that. Sounds like we become just like servants if we follow these manners of yours. Yeah, why must we do all that? I don't get it at all. Because you won't have any friends if you have such bad manners. I'm going to go play with Cupcake. And we don't want to play with you two. Hmm? Hmm. Cookie, what will happen if we lose all our friends because of bad manners? <laughs> I have a really good idea. We need to remember everything Candy taught us and let everyone see our good manners. Yeah! On the playground, Cookie and Pudding tried their Yay! hardest to be kind and attentive. <laughs> Cookie and Pudding, what lovely kind manners. They take after me. Actually, it feels really nice to be polite and helpful. Yeah, and it really is so easy. And from now on, we'll have good manners all the time. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. The boys enjoyed showing off their good manners and were super delighted to see that it made everyone really happy. Scarecrow. One day, the kitty cats went to visit Grandma. Mm -mm -mm. Stay away, chicky birds. Ah, all done. All the seeds are planted. Soon we'll have a garden full of lovely carrots. Ah, uh, hey! Shoo, shoo, shoo! Granny, why are you scaring the birds away? Are they doing something wrong? Well, unfortunately, they were. If I didn't stop them, they'd eat every seed I plant. And if I didn't shoo them off, ah, scat! I wouldn't have a garden. Oh. Let's help Granny protect her garden from the seed thieves. All right, great idea. It's gonna be so, so awesome. awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. Thanks for the help, my darling kittens. I'll go and start on the oh. lunch. The kittens found it easy to shoo the birds away, but they didn't stay away for long. <laughs> I'm too tired to keep running like this. Uh, well, why don't we just stand here? They probably wouldn't come back if we did that. No way! Standing around all day? Boring! <gasps> What if we painted some big pictures of ourselves and left them right where we are now? The birds will think we're still standing here and stay away. Candy painted lovely portraits of herself and her brothers. But unfortunately, they didn't scare the birds at all. Hey! Shoo, birdies! Cookie, I think that the birds can tell that these are just drawings and aren't really us at all. Then I think we have to build something that looks like a real scary kitten. Come on, let's try. Yeah, but it must be really scary, so the birds are too terrified to come near it. The kittens found stuff around Granny's garden and made a terrifying scarecrow. They, they were really scared. <laughs> Goodness, who is that? What are you doing here? Speak or I'll call the police. Granny, it's okay. That's just our super duper scarecrow. It will scare any bird who dares to enter the garden. <laughs> it's a wonderful idea, children. Oh, but it also scares grandmothers. Oh, I don't think I want to look at that thing for long. Hmm. Perhaps there's a less scary way to protect the seeds. Hmm. 
Hmm. We could cover the dirt with something. That way the birds wouldn't be able to get to the seeds. But how would the carrots be able to grow then? They'd have no sunshine. We could put up a humongous fan to blow the birds away. But how is Granny going to water the garden then? Oh, oh. oh the birds are back. They're not even a little bit scared. Oh boy, aren't they scared of anything at all? Huh? Hang on, look at that! The pinwheel, they're afraid of the pinwheel! It spins around and makes a clicking noise as well. Then I know just what the garden needs. My darlings, it's time for lunch. Oh, well, isn't that pretty? What do you think of it, Granny? These are our beautiful scarecrow wheels. Well, I had no idea it was possible to scare birds away with something that beautiful. My darlings, you're the cleverest kittens ever. Still, I feel bad for the birds. Won't they go hungry now without any seeds? We can help them. How about we feed them some nice, yummy crumbs? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Thanks to the kitty cats, Granny's seeds grew safely and the birds got some food. The Sweet Truth One day, the kittens went with their parents to a festival where Daddy was going to display his delicious cookies. This fight is perfect. Apparently, whoever has made the tastiest treats wins a very special badge. Yeah, and I've prepared some super yummy cookies that are guaranteed to knock their socks off. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Is this one of the yummy cookies that's going to knock their socks off? You betcha, and I call it the magic cookie. Go ahead, try it. You'll see why. Mm. It's so great! <laughs> well, thank you. Do you see? It's magic because of what's inside. You kittens can go explore while we stay and get the booth set up. Just be careful to stay in the fairgrounds. As the kittens looked at the other booths, they started to feel a little nervous that the other treats looked yummier than Daddy's. Hmm? Hmm. Pretty good, but Dad's cookies are way yummier. But who'll notice these plain looking cookies with all these fancy pastries around? Pretzels, all flavors of pretzels. Pretzels with apple, apricots, or honey. Hot and so fresh. I mm -hmm. got it, we just need to tell everyone that Dad's cookies are delicious. Mm. The kittens wanted to help Daddy, so they made posters to advertise Daddy's yummy cookies. Great cookies, great cookies. Come and try some great cookies. Hi there. Hey, guys! You've got to try the cookies our dad made. Sure we will. But first, I've got to try some of those sugar butterflies because they're just so beautiful. And I want some star-shaped lollipops. And cream-filled pastries. They really look amazing, don't they? We better hurry before they're all gone. Hmm. They'll never make it to dad's cookies at all like this. I know how to get their attention. Hey! You guys want to experience something super awesome? Huh? Did, Did you, you say, say something, something super awesome? The magic cookie. Just one cookie is as amazing as flying in the sky. Just one of Daddy's cookies is as lovely as watching fireworks. Just one cookie is as exciting as riding a dolphin. <laughs> the magic cookie from Kitty Cats. Try one now. Oh, whoa. We want your cookies! Hey, my cookie isn't working. I'm still on the ground. I should be flying by now. Yes, and I can't see any fireworks at all. Where's the tiara I wished for? You promised us magic, but everything you said about these cookies was just a lie. Hmm. Did they believe my cookies were actually really magic? Well, we kind of said stuff just to get them interested. And they haven't even taken a bite to try them out. Yes, well, of course not. They were upset they didn't experience the miracles they were expecting. 
Hmm. Yeah, looks like we shouldn't have made up lies about your cookies being really magic. But your cookies look so ordinary on the outside. How can we explain how amazing they really are? I have a really good idea. We'll tell the truth about how extra yummy Dad's magic cookies are, but in an extraordinary way. They might look ordinary, but try a bite and you will learn that they're the very best cookies ever true. Don't pass them by. Come give them a try. You'll be impressed. These cookies are the best. <laughs> hmm. Well, let's get this over with. <laughs> Mmm, these cookies are truly delicious. The best in show badge is yours. Every pastry shop in town ought to be selling your cookies. They're wonderful. Awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! And that's how the kittens worked out how to tell everyone the sweet truth about their daddy's wonderfully scrummy cookies. Playing in the dark. One night, Mommy and Daddy went out to dinner and left the kittens at home with Grandma. Grandma, will you play with us, please? I have to finish making your dinner before I can play, darlings. But you three just go ahead and I'll join in when I'm finished. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Lights went out. <laughs> Did I clap too hard? Ah, cookie pudding, what happened? I'm afraid of the dark. Why? What's there to be afraid of? But you were just blindfolded when we were playing, and that's the same thing as being in the dark. But wearing a blindfold isn't nearly as dark as real darkness. Kittens, where are you? Grandma! It looks like every single light in the house is out, but everything's going to be all right. We need to head down to the cellar to find some flashlights. But it's even darker down there. Maybe we can wait up here for the lights to come back on? But what if they stay off for a long time? We'll be fine down there, kittens, because we'll all be together the whole time. Well, all right. going down the steps, dears. Uh, Goodness, what's the matter, Candy? I'm frightened. It's even darker down there, you know. I'm not even a bit scared, and I'll tell you why. Because darkness is our friend. There are many beautiful things that we never see without it, like the lovely glimmer of this candlelight and the twinkling stars. These wonderful things can only be seen in the dark. The stars aren't up there. <gasps> oh, wow! Not to mention there's a great deal of fun to be had when you're playing in the dark, especially if you can get your paws on a flashlight. <laughs> Come and look at this, Candy. Look, it's a duck. Quack, 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 quack. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a mountain. Look, Cookie Mobile. <laughs> And this is a butterfly. Whoa, I just got very hungry. Yeah, I'm starving. Goodness, kittens, I'm afraid I forgot to finish dinner and all the confusion. Let's try to root out something to eat down here. Something which doesn't need any cooking. I already found something awesome. Cookies. And I see apples over here. I've got carrots. Dinner uh -huh. is served. Huh? Oh, and look, the lights are back on as well. Oh, no. But we were having all that fun in the dark. And it wasn't really scary at all. Uh -huh. Hey, I just had a really good idea. See, now we can play in the dark again all we want. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Huh? 
Goodness, kittens, what's going on in here? Has the electricity gone out? Yeah! Oh! It did go out, but it's on again. We just have the lights out because the dark is fun. Why, Candy, you're not afraid of the dark anymore? That's just wonderful. Well done. Come over here, everyone, and enjoy our shadow show. And that's how Candy learned that darkness is really nothing to be afraid of. And playing in the dark can be a lot of fun. <laughs> Clowning around with Boris. One day, the kittens were talking about what they wanted to be when they grew up. When I grow up, I'm going to be a sea captain. And I'll be a concert pianist. And I, uh, I'll be a great scientist. And I want to be a clown. Hmm? Boris, do you really want to be a clown? You're kind, but not so funny. Well, clowns aren't funny people in real life. They're funny with their bodies when they perform. But you never perform, Boris. You're right. Which means I better start. I'll come up with a funny routine and perform it for everyone. Everyone will laugh a lot. So awesome! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! But at home, the kittens realized that they were worried about Boris. But what if his routine turns out not to be funny? Boris will be so sad if he does a show and no one laughs. What if we sneak and tickle every kitten's paws? Then they're sure to laugh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 oh, that won't work. When something's funny, everyone laughs at the same time. We could put this in the audience and play a laugh track on it. It would be really strange to hear laughter, but not see anybody laughing. <laughs> or you three could help Boris come up with his clown show. Friends are supposed to help one another. <gasps> the kittens want to help Boris with his routine. Oh, thanks a lot for coming. My costume is pretty ready, but I still haven't thought up a funny routine. We can help you with that. Everyone usually laughs when someone falls down. Look, like this. Ow. Uh. Ow. You just drop the banana uh. peel and then you slip on it and fall on your bottom. Uh. Go on, you got this. Uh. Uh -huh. Uh -oh. Ow. Looks like comedy wipeouts aren't your thing either. Everybody laughs when they hear a funny song, so just sing something hilarious. La la la, la la la. Funny la, songs la. really need to have funny words. But I don't know any really funny songs. Oh, here's something funny to do. Comedy gold, pie in the face, and all you have to do is stand still while I do the rest. You ready? No. <laughs> Well, that was a total waste of a delicious cake. Yeah, and for nothing, because it wasn't even funny. This is all my fault. I'm not funny at all. I won't ever be a real clown. Boris, you're really funny. That's hilarious. Am I? I wasn't trying to be funny. It somehow just happened by itself. <laughs> you know what? I think you really do have the talent to be a real clown. <laughs> I have a really good idea. The kittens came up with a clown routine to showcase Boris's natural talent. And that's how the kitty cats yeah. realize that a talent may not always be easy to see. Sometimes it can even be discovered by accident. 
ghosts. One day, Mommy and Daddy decided to clean every nook and cranny in the house. While you are carefully vacuuming every rug we have, I will do the window washing. Then we'll do the cellar together. Also, we have to change all of the bedding in the house and wash all the curtains huh? and dust the shelves. Hey, we'd like to help you both with the house cleaning. Really? Are you sure you won't get distracted and start playing? We won't get distracted. We really want to help. Pretty please, Mommy. Okay, now Candy, you can wipe all the dust off all the shelves. While Cookie and Pudding change all the bed sheets in your room, all right? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Wouldn't it just be super awesome to have a big pillowcase race? <laughs> <laughs> Sure would, but first we have to finish our work, remember? <laughs> hey, Pudding, you look amazing, just like a genuine real-life ghost. <laughs> so do you. I can see you through the sheet. Me too. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Afraid, Candy? Remember, there's no such thing as ghosts. But I really saw them. Do you think they live in the basement and we disturbed them with all the spring cleaning? Imagining things, sweetheart. We don't need to worry about ghosts. But not having enough time to hang the linens out to dry does worry me. Candy wanted to take a picture of the ghosts and show it to Mommy. Oh, they're not here! Admit it. We really got you. Boo! <laughs> <gasps> How awful! Uh, Mommy, are you that afraid of these ghosts? No, I'm afraid that you have muddied up my nice clean linens. It was absolutely Cookie and Pudding's fault. They were running around pretending to be ghosts instead of cleaning. You weren't doing your cleaning either. You forgot all about dusting the shelves. Instead, you were just chasing us around. Yeah, and you're the reason we ended up in the puddle and got all muddy. Oh, I just knew you kittens would end up playing and forget all about cleaning. Hey, I know what we should do. We need to finish the jobs that we started, but without any distractions, like ghost chasing. That's a really good idea, Candy. Come on, I'll find some other clean linens for the beds. Mommy, we finished everything! Great, kittens! All that's left is cleaning up the basement. After that, all of our housekeeping jobs will be finished. Uh, uh, huh? uh, 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 it's a real uh, ghost! Uh, <laughs> oh, my kitty! I just found these cool old white curtains in the basement. What should I do with them? These old sheets would be just perfect for dressing up as ghosts. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> and that's how the kitty cats learned that playing could be even more fun after all the work was done. Squabbling kitties. One day, Daddy suggested that the kittens play a board game. Look at this, kittens! And this game can be played by several players at once. There's no way that you could get bored with it. Mommy and Daddy have some things to take care of, but you can play the game together in the meantime. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Okay, I'll take the first. 
first turn. But, Cookie, you go first every time. Let me be first for once. No, Bear, I never get to go first. Let me. But I'm faster, so I should be first. Oh. Huh? Me, I'm first. <laughs> the kittens didn't want to let each other go first. So I'm going outside to play with my ball. The kittens thought that they would be happier without their siblings. I'm going to have so much more time to make wonderful dresses for my dollies. I'll come up with my own fashion collection and everyone will love, love, love it. And I'll become a great fashion designer. <laughs> Now I can devote myself completely to science and study cool stuff like plants and mushrooms. And I'll go everywhere in the world and discover all kinds of awesome things. Oh. <laughs> now I'll have lots more time to practice soccer. I'll become the captain of a famous team. Then we'll win the world championship. And win a giant trophy. But then the kittens realized that something was missing. Oh, I really wish Cookie and Pudding were here to see this. Yeah, I really wish I could share this with my brother and sister. Celebrating a win with pudding and candy would be just so awesome. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. I just wanted to take a look at the game board. Oh, um, are you having fun all by yourself? Sure, it's awesome. The most fun ever, ever. I'm having all the fun in the world. Huh? Boris came over to huh? visit the kittens. Who's there? It's Boris. Hi, Hi there, Boris. Boris. Hi, guys. Boris, come play a game with me. No, come play with me, Boris. We'd have way more fun if you played with me. Why don't we all play it together? We decided that we're never playing together again. Because someone always wants to be the one that plays first. Yeah, or getting offended by everything. We were fighting the whole time. I don't have any brothers or sisters at home, so I came to play with all of you, but you're fighting. Boris, don't leave. Let's all play together. I'll even let you be the one to play first. Can I play? I'm really tired of just sitting alone. I agree. I've got a really good idea. We should stop fighting over stuff and play together instead. <laughs> Looks like the game is at full swing. Have you got room there for two more players? <gasps> Your father and I would be very happy to play the game with you. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The kitty cats realized that it's not that important if you go first or if you win, as long as your friends and family are with you. Surprise! It was a holiday, National Kittens Day. A special day when parents give their kittens little gifts to celebrate. This Kitten's Day, you'll be getting one big present to share, my kittens, but it's a so awesome ah. one. You'll get your present this evening, but try to be patient. It'll be a surprise. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! These kittens just couldn't bear the wait for evening. Look, a delivery truck is delivering something. It must be huge! Wow, that box is massive. Our present must be inside. Yep, Mommy did say that it would be a big surprise. <laughs> that box is big enough that it might have a complete set of plant encyclopedias. <laughs> It's so big, it could hold.
hold all the parts of a real-life pirate ship. All hands on deck! <laughs> Maybe it's a big musical instrument, like a beautiful harp. Well, the box is so big it could have almost anything inside. We won't find out what it is until this evening. I'll never be able to wait that long. Let's go and take a look inside the box right now. Mommy and Daddy said it's a Kitten's Day surprise. We can pretend to be surprised tonight when we open it. All right, but Mommy and Daddy probably hit the box. We need to find it and be super stealthy, you guys. <laughs> The kittens looked all over the house, but they didn't find the box. Where could they hide a box that big? We've looked everywhere in the house. Not down there. <gasps> Let's open it right now. That is a surprise. You think that Mommy and Daddy want to redecorate our room using this giant vase? But it will get in the way of everything. Ah. Mm. Oh. Ah. Oh. 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 Ah. But we still have to pretend to be surprised and happy when we open it again later, or Mommy and Daddy will be disappointed. <sighs> Kittens, the time has come for your present. Your big surprise is waiting in your room. Come find out what it is. Hooray! Surprise! All right, lift the box off. I want to see your faces when you see what's inside. I'm not sure I can pretend to be happy and surprised at all. <laughs> we already know there's just a vase in the box. We couldn't help it and had a look inside earlier. We're sorry that we ruined your nice surprise. Why not look inside the box anyway? Maybe you'll still find a surprise. Huh. Whoa! Oh, wow, look, look at that! Look at that! It's a magic town with clocks! And it lights up in the dark. That's why we wanted to give it to you in the evening, so you could see it in all its glory. We bought it a couple of weeks ago. The vase is a present for Grandma, but the vase box was just exactly the right size to put your actual present inside and help give all of you a nice surprise. So, so awesome! awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> the kitty cats had a lovely evening with their parents, celebrating Kitten's Day. And they realized that surprises are worth waiting for. Exercising Kitties. The kittens were spending the weekend with their grandma. Wake up, my darling kittens. Time to greet a lovely new day. We want to stay in bed a little longer. Yeah, I haven't got the energy to get out of bed. Come on, kittens. Join me for my morning exercise. You all will feel super energized and strong in no time at all. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Exercise. Only grandmas and grandpas need to exercise. We're just little kittens. Exercise is really great for cats of all ages. Stretching helps you feel strong and energetic. I'm really strong already. Oh. Just check this out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're some athlete. If you don't want to exercise, it's fine. But you absolutely must have porridge for breakfast, little ones. It will give you energy for the entire day. That means if we just eat porridge, we'll be really strong. Yeah, and we can do it without morning exercise. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. The kittens had their breakfast and went to play outside. I'll bring it back here. I just can't run anymore. <laughs> 
a stick to knock it down. But what if instead you break it? We can put springs on our feet and jump up and grab it that way. Uh, what if you get stuck in a tree as well? Then we'll have to get you out of the tree too. Hey, maybe we should call Dart's father. He'll hurry here in his fire truck and get the helicopter down. Hey! Up there! We can't distract firefighters from more important things. You know, fires and stuff. I suppose we'll just have to climb the tree ourselves to rescue the helicopter. But the kittens weren't strong enough to climb the tree. We're never going to be able to get our helicopter down. <laughs> ah, the old helicopter in the tree problem. Let's get it back then. Oh, wow! There's nothing super about it. It's all thanks to my exercises. I'd like to be as strong as Granny, too. Yeah, so do I. I have a really good idea. Daddy and Mommy came to visit Grandma and the kittens. Well, Pudding, seems like you're a kitten superhero. It's only been one day and your grandma has already turned our kittens into athletes. Hello, kittens. And hello to you. It's all thanks to Granny's exercises. Actually, I feel like I could do with a little exercise. I'm pretty stiff after driving all of that way. In that case, why don't we do a few exercises all together? So, so awesome! awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! By the way, that me wow, me wow wave of yours is great exercise. So now the kitty cats always do their morning stretches, and their wave is a megatastic way to exercise their arms, too. <laughs> 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 